solve the given equation where given y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 1. We are going to solve the equation using z transform and inverse z transform. Now let us go for the solution. The given equation is this and it also given that u0 is equal to 0 and u1 is equal to 1. Now take z transform on both sides of this equation. So let me number this equation as 1. Now my equation will become further when I simplify. Now I am going to substitute the formulas for zyn plus 2, zyn plus 1, z of yn and z of 3 power n. My z of yn plus 2 is z square y of z minus z square y of 0 minus z y of 1. So this is my z y n plus 2. Then I have 4 into my z of y n plus 1 is z of y is z minus z y of 0. Then I have my 3 z of y n. So my 3 z of y n is y of z which is equal to z of 3 power n. Now I am going to combine all y z terms together. So when I combine all y of z terms together I will be getting z square plus 4z. Here it is 3. Then y of 0 is 0 and y of 1 is 1. So this will become 0, this will become 0 and I will have minus z. So I am going to apply the formula for z of 3 power n. This is z by z minus 3. Now factorize this, I will get z plus 1 into z plus 3 into y of z is equal to, bring this z this side, plus z. Now y of z is equal to z, take LCM, z into z minus 3 by z minus 3 into 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 2. So now I will be getting z plus z square minus 3 z divided by z plus 1 z plus 3 into z minus 3. So this is equal to z square minus 2 z by z plus 1 into z plus 3 into z minus 3. So this is my y of z. Now take this z commonly outside. I will get z minus 2 by z plus 1 into z plus 3 into z minus 3. Bring this z this side. y of z by z is equal to z minus 2 by z plus 1 into z plus 3 into z minus 3. Now for RHS, in order to simplify, we are going to work with partial fraction method. So when I go for considering this RHS, z by 2 by z plus 1 into z plus 3 into z minus 3 is equal to a by z plus 1 plus b by z plus 3 plus c by z minus 3. So z minus 2 by z plus 1 into z plus 3 into z minus 3. Here also is equal to take LCM z plus 1 z plus 3 z minus 3 a into z plus 3 into z minus 3 plus b into I will get this and this. So z plus 1 into z minus 3 plus c into z plus 1 z plus 3. Now we have to find the values of a, b and c. I can cancel this. Now substitute z is equal to 3. So when I substitute z is equal to 3, 
here it is 3 minus 2 1 so 1 is equal to I will be getting a into 0 plus again when I substitute here it is b into 0 so c into 3 is 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 3 6 so 1 is equal to 24 c which implies c is equal to 1 by 24 now substitute z is equal to minus 3 so when I substitute z is equal to minus 3 here I will be getting minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 so again my a is 0 then b is minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 then minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6 again my c is 0 so minus 5 is equal to 12b so this is equal to b is equal to minus 5 by 12 then substitute z is equal to minus 1 so when I substitute z is equal to minus 1 here I will be getting minus 3 is equal to a into minus 1 plus 3 is 2 into minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. So this implies that 2 4s are 8. So my a is equal to 3 by 8. Now substitute the values for y of z. y of z by z is equal to a by z plus 1 plus b by z plus 3 plus c by z minus 3. So my a is 3 by 8, b is minus 5 by 12, c is 1 by 24. So now y of z by z is equal to 3 by 8 into z plus 1 plus minus 5 by 12 into 1 by z plus 3 plus 1 by 24 into z minus 3. Now I am going to bring this z this side. So y of z is equal. Now for this we are going to take inverse z transform. So z inverse of y of z is equal to 3 by 8 into z inverse of z by z plus 1 minus 5 by 12 into z inverse of z by inverse of z by z plus 3 plus 1 by 24 into z inverse of z by z minus 3. Now we are going to apply formulas for all these z inverse. These my z inverse of y by z is y of n is equal to 3 by 8 into this is minus 1 to the power n minus 5 by 12 into this is minus 3 to the power n plus 1 by 24 into this is plus 3. So I will be getting plus 3 to the power n. So this is my y of n.